Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm just taking the scenic route over all of the Hermitcraft server. I'm about 3,000 blocks away from where False Symmetry has sent me a threatening message. She um, took a, a kind of screenshot and sent it to me via Twitter. So if you check out my Twitter, you can see that. But apparently she has my dog. And I don't know if you know this, but this is a child-friendly server. We can't have people kidnapping dogs and getting away with it. What kind of message does that send to the children? That's why they had to make so many John Wick movies, you know? And so what we're going to do is we are going to, you know, just kind of generally fly this way until we've reached that challenge. Then we are going to outwit, outsmart, outgun, outman, outnumber, outplan. Uh, basically, we're just going to completely outdo false symmetry in every possible way. And you might say, Joe, how are you going to outdo any of that if you haven't had a chance to gear up first? Well, actually, I did gear up a little bit earlier, but, you know, I didn't know if you'd want to watch the whole thing and scrutinize and bore in detail. So I'm going to show you a little montage that looks something like this. So here we are in the shopping district. We are just going to grab everything we need Oh, that's right. Looks like somebody got afraid. They're like, nope. Joe Hills is here. He's on a murder spree. He's got an empty inventory, and he's ready to pay with green glass. I don't think I have time for a master class in that sort of wrath. That's right. Y'all better flee. Let's see, see who else is open. Okay, wait. In order to complete a purchase from Kalahari, you must follow these precise instructions there. As follows, first right-click equivalent. If you have set to interact with the double chest below the sign. Oh. I don't have 20 diamonds. Second, locate the item you would just third place your character on the item. The price will be... This is... I'm in a rage! I don't have time for this in a rage! Wow, I went super saiyan there. I actually kind of flew. wonder if I can do that again. Whoosh. Yeah, we're just going to go get everything we need out of the vault. We, we've got everything we need in there. Time skip! Bring on the creepers, bring on the flame... Here comes the legend, the bravest of brave. Fiercer than lions, more southern than you. He conquered our hearts, and he'll conquer hell too. Joe Heels. Okay, so let's assume that that lectern that false left us was actually trapped. Did we take the book? Was my inventory full? Did it just fall on the ground? Is this... Oh, here it is. Great, great, great. So, oh wait, wait, wait. We gotta go. We gotta go with the um. Gotta do our best false symmetry voice. Now you gotta remember, she's a little bit dead, so she might be a little bit more gravelly than you, than we're used to. Okay. So you wanna find your pup? I'll give you a chance to do it. But you got to have a little fun first for false symmetry. Here's your challenge, matey. This cave is filled with books, each one a different letter. If you can put all of those together. You'll find a word! If you can figure out what the word means, you'll find your final clue that'll lead you to the final challenge. Do find your dog. Woof, 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 woof. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Smile. Man, False's voice is really hard to get right, but I think I nailed it that time. Okay, so... Somewhere in this cave are apparently more books. So False is immediately attacking... My inventory problem. We're just going to have to throw some of this stuff on the ground. Fine. Fine. Okay, so we now have some more inventory space to deal with whatever false symmetry is about to throw at us. We have to... Apparently, we are playing Wheel of Fortune here. And I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually pretty good at Wheel of Fortune. So, here's what we're going to do. We... We're going to eat a potion of fire resistance. We're going to eat a potion of golden carrot. We're going to eat a, a potion of night vision. And let's go ahead and get the swiftness one too. Okay, so that leaves us with one remaining potion of slow falling, which I think I'm going to hold in reserve. I'm going to hold that in reserve. I'm going to regret holding it in reserve later. But, okay, unless that started a trigger... That was designed to last, like, if that, if that, removing that book set a timer, that was designed to set a, like, three-minute trigger, 
Cub fan could just have a button he's waiting to press. He There doesn't have to be a... Is it still a trap if a person presses a button? I'm going to assume maybe not. Maybe it's... Okay. So here's another one. So what we're going to do is we got a clear shot there. Okay, that was not as good a plan as I thought it was going to be. But the core concept of it... Let's go ahead and move this over. Let's just get more ender pearls in here. And quickly go that way. Okay. So we got a tango. I saw the letter T there. This is book five. Okay, so these might even have an order to them. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that in slot five here. Okay, so we got one book. Let's see. I'm just going to assume that... F okay, is there a good chance... I wish I could see if there were any tripwires here. I don't see any, but that's the point of them, is that you don't see them. Tripwires are meant to be neither seen nor heard. They're just kind of meant to explode you or garrote you or something in between. Okay. Well, if I know false, she understands that the sky is my ally. And she has probably chosen to go deeper into the mountain here. Rather than further out. But let's go ahead and check this way. Just to see... Okay. I don't see any in this ravine here. But I didn't actually light this ravine. This is all the night vision potion. Which I am now, like, madly grateful I brought with me. Okay. So, she is probably, thinking this through, she has probably placed most of these traps. Or lecterns. See, that's the thing. Is I'm assuming the lecterns are a trap. But maybe the real trap is the friends we made along the way. Let me just hold down that online cub fan button there. Okay, so. What are we looking at here? I'm also terrified of digging out beneath the lecterns. Because you might say, Joe, isn't that... Isn't digging out beneath the lecterns the best way... Oh, is this that spawner they were telling me about? M. Okay. Whoa. And uh, we're going to leave now. Also, further leaving. Okay. So let's go ahead and get away from there. Man, there that was right by the entrance! That was entrance adjacent! I could have just turned right! <sighs> okay. So we have we have two books now. We have number one is M... And then we have number five is T. So that could be mountain. Could be mountain. Okay. Mm. If it is mountain. Well, what else could it be? Midnight? No. We also don't know if the numbers are actually in order. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to delve. Okay. We're going to... Here's another one. So, I'm... Th oh, there's no good way to throw an ender pearl here. Mm. I'm just going to buy myself a little bit of extra space here. Uh-oh. Oh, no, this is worse now. This is just where mobs come in from now. Okay, um... Yeah, so we're going to block that back up. Just blocking all of that. Okay, okay, good, good planning, everybody. What I was trying to do was create a hole through which I could throw an ender pearl after taking this book. But, whatever. Um, so this book is book six. Let's see what it says. A. I mean, I'm thinking that's mountain. M-O-U-N-T-A. But is it ma under mountain? Is it mountain top? Wait, no, I've been that way before. Okay. So... Hmm. Try 
try to think through this logically. Now, I haven't been up this way. If I was false symmetry... Okay. Like, what I really kind of want to do... I don't know if I'm good enough at this. Can I throw that and then grab this? Yeah, look at that. <gasps> Bad plan! Okay. M O. Yeah, this is this has got to be mountain. So, like, let's just look around here. Do we see anything that looks mountain adjacent? Like this, all looks like a mountain. Okay, so there's definitely a lectern right there. That might be the next. Maybe I was supposed to gather, like, all eight books inside of there to get to that lectern. But, I'm looking at that. That's full of mobs right now. It is nighttime. Oh, I'm burning potions, though. Every minute I waste, I am burning potions. Okay. So, I think I found... Yeah, and that snow could be some sort of, like, empty snow trap thing. So what we're going to do... We're going to try and fly over and create an obsidian platform while we skim the terrain. And you might say, Joe, is that really the sort of thing that you are, like, good at? No, it's not. Okay. So, now, can we reach that? Of course not. We cannot. I'm gonna go down one. Okay. Um... Yeah, so, from a logical standpoint, I'm thinking I might have messed up by making that step there. Um, can I place one block, one lower here, without setting off some sort of insane chain reaction trap? Nope, that was too high. Okay, I can't go lower there. Cub fan went to bed. Thank you, Cub. He's like, this trap is going to be broken if there's mobs around or something. I'm sure that's not actually a kindness or a favor. That's probably actually really bad for me somehow. Okay. This is... I'm a little worried here. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Can we reach that? No, I'm still too high up. Okay, we gotta get out something to throw at monsters, because these monsters, they're too numerous, and, you know, they are bad and plentiful. My least favorite combination of monster traits. Okay, so we're going to try hopping down to this one. Can I reach the book from here? No. Going to go down one more. Okay, so let's see what that book says once we are an insanely safe distance away. Because there is no way... If she had me, if she planned for me to go through and get ten different things or whatever worth of books, I'm sure whatever was in that one was probably, like, that was probably the trapped one. Okay, wait, wait, that was the one from earlier. So now, let's see what this says. So you have found your way to the top of the mountain. Congratulations. As a prize, I will tell you how to get your dog back, but you'll need to be prepared to take part in a puzzle. I have been taking part in a puzzle! Wait. The puzzle being nothing. You've just been trapped. Welcome to the dead team. Ha 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 I'm done now. Lol. Did... So... Huh. Is that gonna blow up now? Is all that going to blow up now? Oh, I want to fly over it now, but where's the dog? I conquered death, but, like, is the dog waiting for me in the dead quarters? Like, because if, if her expectation was that I was just going to join the dead team, maybe she was going to be like, hey, you know, you, you, uh, now that you're dead, enjoy this dog. Um... This is probably not a safe place to fly past right now. But I'm just kind of... I want to eyeball this. Like, 
There's plenty of room here for her to set something up, maybe? The pages would send the signal? I thought taking the book would still set off some sort of signal, though. But yeah, I guess we're just gonna go to the dead quarters and try to find our dog now. Because, uh... Like, where else would she put it, right? That's That's gotta be the plan, was she was gonna go, Hey, Joe, now that you're dead, I'll, I'll make it up to you by giving you your dog back. Well, here, here's a fun fact. I'm coming for the dog either way. So, I don't know if there's spoilers in here. Cub, if there's spoilers in here, you got about 30 seconds to tell me to veer off. Uh, Because we are doing this. Oh, I'm in a spider web now. Yeah, Gross. Okay. So, is there a door here? Or how does this work? I haven't actually watched any of the Hermit's videos. It seems like there would be a door. Whoa! Okay, this is already going poorly for me. Um... Might have punched above my weight on this one. Why am I still on fire? Okay, well that was not how I wanted to do that. Okay, um... Hmm. I haven't survived that, though. I mean, how much worse could the rest of the traps be? To advance, you must unlock safe passage. Well, I mean, it looks pretty unlocked to me. Uh, okay, well, if it's blocked off, whatever. That's fine. This lava, though, does give me a good idea. People are telling me via Twitter, like, that's one of the things about having such a big public feud here, Cub. You know, you want to step to me on Twitter with your problems. People are telling me I need to check out Scars Volcano, that there might be some sort of clue there. So I think that is where we are going to head next. Time skip. Well, now that I know that the dog is not at the volcano, I've got to go... and fix this elytra. And then go back to the swamp, which is now super dangerous because I just left there. You guys, really? I'm... I'm legitimately mad, because I just wasted 15 minutes getting back here, when I should not have wasted any minutes getting back here. That was a huge mistake. Okay, so maybe we should also put some blocks in here so that Cub can't just sneak up directly behind us without making any noise. There we go. All right. Well, it turns out that all the intelligence I got that the dogs were at Scholar's Volcano were a complete dead end. Why is there... Was my dog here at some point? Well, that's worrisome. So what we're going to do is we are going to head back down this eastern tunnel until we get to the Halloween District. Now, of course, you guys know from experience that the Halloween District is, oh, dang it, why did I, mm -hmm. Halloween District is reachable via some very clever flat work that bypasses a lot of the trappable tunnels. Now, of course, having set up that portal myself, I know precisely where it is. And I can execute a perfect landon into here without having to deal with that whole thing there. So... Of course, now it's all dark and scary. Player does hurt. Player wants dog. It's not enough to defeat False Symmetry's trap. The whole point of winning at the trap was to get the dog back. Not getting the dog back. We basically still lost. We're at square one here, people. Give me some puppy noises, little subtitles. Give me that pups. You up here, pup? You pup here? Why is this not covered in monsters? 
This this seems like a really dangerous place to stand, just like objectively. You pup here? Mm. So, I guess I could start making a Nautilus spiral outward. Searching for anywhere that they could... Oh, yeah, I should probably put on armor, too. <laughs> yeah, I took that off so I could enchant my latter again uh, real quick. Yeah, let's just make some good decisions while we're furious about this dog. Okay, so there should be a river over here that would connect to roughly the area that they would need to get the dog from. So, if we were looking... That piston, maybe that's popping up the dog? Would that even work? Huh. Huh. Okay. So, if I were trading a dog for sport and not commerce, where would I take the dog afterward? If they needed to push the boat onto land, maybe? Is this trapped? Good, because I'm going to use that to go set off that TNT trap false mate if I'm... If she doesn't show me where this dog is soon. Let's uh, make a redstone torch, just to show how serious I am about that. This is uh, no laughing matter. Go ahead. I figure, you know, with... Uh, Eight redstone wire and a single torch. That's probably far enough away I can set off that trap without being too, um, you know, dead. Okay, so if they move the dog up a level right there to get it into here. Where would they have moved it after? Okay, so I'm Cub Fan. I'm notorious for cutting corners and not thinking things all the way through. I've got this dog, and are any of these actual bubble pillars? I don't think they are. So I'm not going to move the dog all the way up there. Where is the dog then? It seems like moving it as far away from that entrance would make sense as possible. Is there like any little hidden dog houses? Any other piston things? If they didn't remove that piston, there's a good chance they didn't remove the other pistons. Hmm. Okay. Just think this through. Think this through, you guys. There's... Would they be able to get the dog to the crypts without a ton of... Hey, is that it? Is that it? Is that my little puffer? Is that my little puffer? Hey, buddy. Guess who's got the boat? It's Joe Hills. Who's the guy who can conquer death? That's Joe Hills. He plays for Nashville when he plays Minecraft. That's... Oh, dang it. Joe Hills. That's Joe Hills. So here's what I figure, folks. We're just going to go ahead and take this dog and get the heck out of here. I figure. We can just head back basically part of the way we came. Here. They won't look for him over here. Okay, how do I get him out of the boat? And is it possible to do it without accidentally killing him, breaking the boat? Do I have any extra zombie flesh or anything? No. Okay, so we got to break the boat. Whoa! Okay, there we go. You good, buddy? You good? Are you actually you've unseated? No, you're you're sitting again. But now you're up. Now you're up. You gonna teleport? You gonna teleport to B boy? You gonna teleport to B boy? Where are we going? Where are we going? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where we're going. We're just going anywhere we want. Okay. You 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 gonna you gonna come over here? You gonna pop over here, pup? Is that teleport? That good teleport energy? Is that gonna work? No, no, you don't need to teleport. You're running. Okay, okay. This is great. Okay, so now... Now, we have beaten false symmetry. Okay, look at that. 
What I I actually do want to go back though. Where are you going? Where are you going, boy? I actually do want to go back though. Now that we have done this and set off whatever that trap is on top of the mountain, there's got to be a hilariously safe way to do that. Like I could do that. I'm Joe Hills, right? That's that's a thing that we can do. Puppy, you coming? Okay. So we're just going to sit the puppy down here so it doesn't accidentally get involved with whatever gigantic blast we're about to create here. I have a feeling whatever we do here is going to be fairly spectacular. And I'm looking at the best ways to remotely activate it. And TNT dropping from above is probably the safest, but we don't actually have that. That would be the safest. Is there any other way to send, uh, to activate TNT down remotely? Like, we don't maybe have enough redstone to do this safely. Now, like Icarus, it is our moment to fly too close to the sun. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We want, we want to be gracious winners. We know... Our good friend False worked really hard on this. This was something that she thought a lot about and genuinely wanted to be an enjoyable treat for everybody, all the viewers. All the viewers are going to want to watch this be awesome. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to assume... Oh, okay. See, there's something going on here. That's good to know. We're going to assume that False had some sort of plan here and that that plan was going to be dangerous. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go up here. We're going to get further away. Further away. Okay. And now, from a respectable distance, partially behind the mountain, we're going to go ahead and throw this trident at that pressure plate. Whoops, a little low there. Try again. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now I have to go get the redstone and run it further. It's clearly not a, a, a straight-up gravel trap, though, because it didn't trigger when we did that. Okay. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get these logs out. We're going to create a nice little land bridge here. We're going to run these all the way to the lectern and a little bit past. And we're going to try that again. If you're curious why I'm not just standing on top of the obsidian, it's because this could be a TNT nuke, and I would really like to not be TNT nuked right now. Uh, not quite. Ow, that was close. Come on. Give it to me. Do arrows not trigger um tr the pressure blades anymore? Hmm. 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 Okay, so if this is rigged so it somehow only goes off when someone turns a book far enough, if I place a book in my inventory here, and I open it, and I'm on page four, and I escape out, and I go back, I'm still on page one again. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What if we break the lectern? Does that seem safe enough? That, that seems safe enough for ender pearls. So we're going to just... Mm. What if we just do that? And then we're going to enderpearl this way. And then we're going to throw that directly onto where the lectern was. Is that going to is that going to send off a signal that's going to be sufficient to trigger this? Oh, come on. Whoa, yeah, see that? That's probably not where we want to be. Like, bodily. Woo! 
Let's uh, go survey the damage there. Well, that could have been a rough one. That's an interesting mechanism there. I like it. Very clever, false. Very clever. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back and we're going to get our dog because I don't want anybody stealing my dog again. I learned my lesson last time. Also, which island did I leave the dog on? There it is. Okay. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and rescue our dog. I think this is actually exactly where Cub Fan stole him from in the first place. So there we go. We are going to go off on our next adventure. But first, you might have noticed that this episode was mid-roll ad-free. And that is thanks to $50 a month Patreon sponsor Jenny let me go ahead and read a poem in lieu of that mid-roll ad. A poem, I might add, of my own devising. A rental car is worse than a rental home. Because you can't paint it the way you like, then paint it back when you're done. Two coats of primer should be enough for anybody. Until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Epilogue.